Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to achieve the makeup look you see here. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Off camera, I filled in my brows and added my eyeshadow base. Here I'm adding some concealer to my eyelids just to ensure that the colors I apply will pop. I'm then going to apply some finishing powder just to ensure that there's no creasing. Next I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette for my crease color. A crease color is always good because it helps transition all the eyeshadows you apply to your lid. Once that's applied, I'm just going to blend it out until it looks nice and smooth. Next, I'm going to use the lightest shade in the Dose of Colors KDX Desi Eyeshadow Palette. This was my first time ever using this color and I could not believe how pigmented it was. Like, look at my reaction. I was literally shocked. Um, this is a color that works best wet so I just had a cup of water in front of me and I would dip my finger into it every now and then when I was applying the shadow. Then I would take a clean brush that I could use to blend out the shadow just to make sure everything was seamless and blended out nicely. I'm going in with this Jaclyn Hill palette that you see here and I'm going to use this shade as my outer corner color. This was also my first time using this color and I really really liked it. It was like a really nice purple kind of brownish color. It just looks really nice with the lighter eyeshadow. I kept building up that product until I was happy with it. I started kind of light and then just slowly added more and more product until I got the desired shadow effect that I wanted and then I repeated this obviously on the other eye. To set my eyebrows and ensure that they stay in place, I use this Clear Eyebrow Gel by NYX. apply my face makeup. I am using this primer by Japanese and applying it all over my face. While my primer sets, I like to apply my mascara. I'm using this one by Tarte as well as this one by L'Oreal. Using the Tarte mascara first, followed by the L'Oreal mascara. I always like to incorporate two mascaras if I'm just going to wear my natural lashes because I like to have one for lengthening and one for volumizing and I just really like my lashes to look really really long and as nice as possible. Now I'm going to do some color correcting. I do have some darkness underneath my eyes and I have a really bad dark mark from a previous breakout as you can see so I like to just apply this color correcting concealer in those areas that way when I apply foundation and concealer it just looks a lot better and it actually camouflages those trouble spots better apply this L'Oreal True Match concealer stick in the area of that acne scar just to add even more coverage to that area. Now I'm 
I'm going to use this stroke cream and apply it to the areas that I will later apply highlighter. A little bit of this product really does go a long way, which is why you saw just a little bit on the back of my hand. It really gives your skin a really nice finish. It looks really good on bare skin as well as skin that has foundation on. It just adds a really nice extra glow to your skin. For foundation, I will be using this one by Clinique. It is their Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. I will start by applying this underneath my eyes to tone down some of the brightness of the color corrector as well as along my face. To blend it out, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender. Adding just a little bit more foundation along the areas that need a little bit more coverage. Rewind underneath my eyes just because since we added the foundation there I didn't want my face to look too flat so I felt like bringing just a little bit of brightness would be better for the overall look. setting powder underneath my eyes just to avoid any creasing in that area as well. Now I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cream. Um, this is also a really good pre-highlighter cream. I apply this in the same areas that I applied the MAC Stroke Cream and this is really unnecessary, but I just get a little extra with highlighters, so I like to be extra glowy. using this absolute indulgence loose blush by Bare Minerals and applying that to the apples of my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm going to use a fan brush along with the Carly Bybel Deluxe Palette and I'm going to use the two shades you see here. I'm just going to mix them together and apply it in the same place that I use the MAC Stroke Cream as well as the L'Oreal Lumi True Match Glow Cream. <laughs> It's time 
time for the lips, I'm going to use this NYX lip liner in the color 34 Alabama, as well as the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in the color 12 Exotic. take a napkin and blot my lips just to make sure that the lipstick doesn't transfer onto my teeth. I felt like my eyes needed a little bit of the eyeshadow along the bottom so I'm adding that purple color along the outer rim of my eyes and then the champagne color in the center of my eyes. For lower lash mascara, I will be using this one by L'Oreal. It is their telescopic carbon black mascara. To complete the look, I'm just going to take out my twist and then get dressed. enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching see you in the next one bye please make sure to check out my previous makeup video which is titled basic to bang it